Certainly more improvements in place in the city of Jackson than we had a few years ago, but today federal and local authorities warning that this kind of cold will have a dramatic impact on a water system still not able to withstand this kind of cold. Residents being warned they should take some preparations too. Weather is going to not only impact our residents, but can potentially impact our water distribution system. The Jackson mayor warning that water lines are likely to break in the midst of a sustained freeze that could last between 48 and 72 hours. The city has been in the midst of a federal oversight of the city's flawed water system, focusing the bulk of its recent efforts on the water treatment facilities. The OB Curtis plant received a new outdoor shell in the past year. We are in no position to promise uh, that uh, sustained ar Arctic temperatures cannot have a significant impact on our water treatment facility. The Department of Justice appointed third party administrator says the city has already started the cold weather preps. Got the systems in much better shape than they've probably ever been in preparation for cold weather and we continue that work today and we will continue it throughout the week. So I think uh, from a plant perspective, I can't guarantee that it's going to be perfect. Ted Hennepin says the rehab process is only beginning with the bulk of the contractor work focused on the water treatment plants. He admits there is not nearly enough done to deal with the brittle and ill-prepared pipes that have historically given way in the capital city when temps plummet for extended periods of time. With 100 miles of you know, two-inch galvanized pipe that's not very, very deep, that's going to be the area that we're likely to see issues. The city says it has five outside contract crews ready and on standby to respond to a water line break should they pop up. That seems to be the most pressing threat as we approach this water crisis that could happen because of this Arctic blast. But the city also reminding residents to start making preparations on their own, wrapping their outside pipes, opening their kitchen cabinets to let that warm air around the pipes and getting bottled water and other things in place because this Arctic blast could pose some major problems. Live outside Jackson City Hall, Scott Simmons, 16, WAPT News.